Alright, time to connect our different peripherals and fans to our motherboard. And we are going to start with our front panel. And to do so we are going to use this little bridge connector which will make our life easier. There's really not much to it. We're simply going to attach one by one the different dangles onto the connector, uh, making sure that we do respect the polarity of each plug. The little triangle marked in red on your screen will let us know where is the positive pin. It is very important that you do pay attention to it to avoid any kind of short or damages on your motherboard. Also note that the manufacturers did not make it easy for us and can be at times confusing. The plugs can have different directions, so again, make sure that the polarity is well respected. Other than this, try not to bend any pins and take your time. And now that we're done, we are going to connect our bridge onto our motherboard. This will activate our power and reset button as well as a hard disk drive LED. One more thing, for every connector going onto the motherboard, make sure to respect their orientation. If you feel any kind of resistance, stop what you're doing and make sure you did not bend any pins. Next come our front panel audio jacks, our front panel USB 3.0 plugs, and finally our front panel USB 2.0 plugs. Alright, we are done with our front panel. Next we are going to connect our PWM cable coming from our fan hub, and finally our PWM cable for our water pump. And in this case we will be using a few adapters, two individual extensions as well as a three-way splitter. Note that in our case we will be only using two of the three available plugs. And here are the two NZXT front panel fans. And before doing anything else, we are going to identify the PWM cables which will need to be extended. So first, let's connect one of the extension cable to the three-way splitter. And finally, connect our two PWM fan connectors onto the three-way splitter. Next, I am going to throw the cable on the other side of our case. And now we're simply going to connect the other end of our extension cable onto one of the PWM plugs available on our fan hub. So far, so good. All right, next come the NZXT U-Hub connector, which will allow us to control the RGB effect of our front panel fans. And it comes with a mini USB to USB 2.0 connector adapter, a DC to Molex adapter, and I have added some two-way adhesive pads. Because we only have one USB second generation connector on our motherboard, we are going to transform our mini USB to second generation connector to a mini USB to third generation connector. And we're going to do so thanks to a very useful second generation to third generation cable adapter that I have right here. And that was a very difficult sentence to go through, so let's move on. On the back side of our HUE hub, I have placed three uh, little two-way padded adhesives which will allow us to stick our little hub wherever we want onto the case. And I have decided to put it right here uh, on the other side of our reservoir. Once done, I am going to plug in the DC to Molex adapter, the communication connector which comes out of one of our fans, and finally the mini USB cable to now third generation USB connector. Once done, I am going to pass the said third generation connector on the other side of my case and plug it right into the motherboard. All right, time to take care of our radiator fans. And to do so, we are going to need a five-way splitter. And worth noting, we are only going to use three of the five connectors. In addition, we are going to use a three-way splitter for our Aura cables. I really suggest that you do make some research on it and order it ahead of time because we don't have that many connectors on our very expensive motherboard. So yeah, get that covered. All right, so the idea here is to connect all our fans onto the fan hub provided with our case. And every of our fans come with a PWM fan connector and a Aura connector. But before getting any further, I am too afraid to lose my male to male adapters. So I'm gonna put them on the Aura plugs. They're very small and uh, hard to find. So make sure to place them so we don't lose them. Once done, we can uh, connect our PWM fan cables onto the fan hub and I've put them right here and that should be it. Now we're gonna go back to our Aura cable and connect them to our fans and make sure to have both of the arrows facing each other to avoid any kind of shorts. And once the three of them have been connected to the splitter, we are simply going to throw it on the other side of our case and finally connect it directly onto the first available RGB connector. Make sure that you are not using an addressable connector, meaning there should be four pins instead of three. 
And finally, and again, make sure to respect uh, the polarity of our cable uh, when connecting it onto the motherboard.